these are the curves that I provided you guys for creating the shot lines of the uh, mouse and the rest of them you will create on your own uh, because it, it, it is considerably easier than the previous uh, tutorials so this is why you can you can create on your own so but the only thing before before uh, projecting uh, these curves onto surfaces don't forget to uh, use tubular offset 0.5 for overall the uh, for overall edges of the main surfaces otherwise you won't be having the uh, yeah you you will have the issue that i was having here you just trimming out the rest of the uh, surface so that we can have a little bit of sensation that we have a shot line over there yeah let's continue uh, building our model um in here uh, I'm recreating the uh, top soft gray area because I wasn't uh, quite satisfied with what I had uh, in the um, previous in the previous one. Just checking the continuities and projecting uh, and trimming. I have offset the surface to create a skin between. Yeah, selecting both and creating a skin uh, five degrees in U direction and just filleting at the moment. A G1 filleting is kind of enough uh, for this type of small uh, areas. Seems like we are getting there. Let's move on top and create this um, small button uh, on the soft gray area. Here you can see I'm using tubular offset tool again, but the tube option is on, so I change that to none. But when you look at look at the top, it's a little bit sloppy. So because because the edges, the overall edges of the shape is a little bit sloppy, it seems. Uh, I will fix it when it when it comes to the bottom. Um, yeah, still tubular offsetting and duplicating edge. Uh, I will uh, duplicate on the z-axis and move slightly up a little bit up, and then again attaching these curves to create one single uh, fit curve, and then yeah, arranging arranging the series a little bit so that it is not sloppy anymore yeah so i will use this uh, curve to connect them and i am aligning yeah, deleting the deleting the current curve on surface and reprojecting it again so i will divide uh, these two surfaces and move a little bit higher to create skin between like we did in the in the uh, in a couple minutes ago yeah, i'm not caring that much about the continuity at the moment because it is something we can consider in the further development yeah so i have again tubular offset it to create some kind of gap between of course these gaps are kind of placeholders they are not certain uh, gaps because gaps and flashes conditions are um are uh, decided by engineering departments and these kind of uh, sections are given to the uh, modelers to uh, follow up yeah so i have again uh, added another uh, tubular offset over the on top of top edge of the main surfaces to create kind of placeholder gap again and trying to soften up the uh, overall hard edges to make this model uh, look like more realistic yeah More fillings. G1 at the moment. So yeah, this is this chamfer is a little bit tricky because uh, during the creation of this chamfer, um, when you open the surface fillet controls uh, tool toolbox, you see flow control area. There is start and end uh, point. And between them, there is an interior uh, option as well. 
if you have if you set it as default it does exactly this uh, small surfaces between the big ones so if, if you set it as a edge align as well uh, you can get rid of this problem but uh, at this point we have that problem and yeah, we are kind of fixing it in a hard way but doesn't matter yeah still filleting the hard edges of this chamfer yeah those small surfaces is just pain <laughs> yeah because when you when you do automatic uh, operations uh, the between the between the surface patch layout sometimes you cannot uh, you cannot keep the tangency of course this depends on your construction uh, options which in here my construction options options is quite 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 high so it's kind of saying that this is not kind of tangential g2 curvature or position yeah again basic fillings to, uh, to make our model look more finished look and I guess we can continue to develop our um, placeholder gaps uh, for the buttons and yeah you can import uh, what I provided you guys or you can just simply watch here me creating the um, curves kind of trying to capture the uh, trying to capture the, the um, design which is like again fa uh, fail and try and fail situation yeah I can I can leave this uh, area to roll on and if I will I will be back if needed yeah I have seen that I have exaggerated this uh, button 
it is longer than it's supposed to be so I am uh, after noticing that I am just uh, fixing it by uh, moving some uh, surfaces and projecting some curves on it again and then I have to I have to fill it that edge one one one, one more time and again um, tubular offsetting the uh, base base of the uh, surface to create some kind of placeholder gap pretty much the, the same operations that I was explaining in, uh, that I was explaining earlier if you, if you notice some mistake uh, you simply go over the things that you've done already one more time which is kind of annoying but it's a um, normal workflow when it comes to the surface modeling nerves modeling especially so yeah top uh, I mean I mean like five minutes long I am just trying and failing over here to create the um, to create the shot lines to create the gaps because yeah it just happened when you when you try to mimic the already existing design I'm recreating the uh, curves and I will project them once more I guess I'm gonna use to little offset to little offset to like thousand times again you see I have aligned those uh, fillet curves and once I move the um, straight uh, curves they just follow pretty much um, it is always better to use a line tool uh, with history open so that those uh, curves uh, will follow what, what you want to try what you try to change or what you try to capture yeah once we are once we are done with the shot lines over here I guess the part 3 will be finished the next part we will be um, creating more of course again tubular, off tubular offset is your best friend in this video <laughs> uh, once we once we go to the trimming options I always I always tend to use the, uh, the keep section I always select what I wanted to keep and rather than discard I just mark the areas that I'd like to keep and hit that I hit that button instead of selecting what I'd like to discard it is just how I got used to it there is no change yeah mastering the tubular offset tool here for sure you will not forget how to use that tool <laughs> yeah it seems like we are coming to an end for this video after we trimming those surfaces Thank you for watching uh, until here guys I hope you are keeping up with me and this is pretty much uh, it for the video um, yeah don't forget the like the video subscribe and uh, comment below and see you on the next one